All right, welcome to The Real Story. For months on this program, and programs just like it, we've been covering story after story about illegal immigration. Everything from illegals getting in-state college tuition rates to U.S. border guards serving 11 years in prison for doing their job. And none of it, I mean none of it, has sat right. None of it has made sense until now. Last night, I told you that I had somewhat of an epiphany earlier this week during a presidential press conference. President Bush was responding to a question that his topic was completely unrelated to immigration, but his answer brought everything together for me. I want you to listen closely. Let's put it this way. Money trumps um, peace sometimes. In other words, commercial interests are very powerful interests throughout the world. Okay, now, you know, since I'm not running for anything, let me be a little more honest and clear with you than he was. The real story is money trumps everything. Last week, I told you about a promising new cancer drug that they can't get off the ground because there's no patent available for it. No patent means no profits, and drug companies, well, we're just not interested in that. Money trumps everything. And, of course, we have a little story about Bank of America expanding a little program that allows people, or more accurately, illegal immigrants to obtain credit cards without a Social Security number. But even though the Bank of America is making all the headlines now, I got news for you. Citibank has been doing something very similar with virtually no scrutiny. Wells Fargo has been offering mortgages without Social Security numbers since last year. Why? Why is that? Because there are between 12 and 20 million illegal immigrants in this country right now, and money trumps everything. Last spring, Miller Brewing Company faced boycotts from Latino groups after donating money to a U.S. congressman who sponsored a bill that would have cracked down on illegal immigration. <laughs> You can obviously imagine, I mean, you can't have the $700 billion Hispanic market not drinking your beer. So the geniuses at Miller came up with a new plan. A few months and $30,000 later, Miller sponsored a large street demonstration to support the rights of illegal immigrants, or, as Miller called it, quote, the free movement of people. Oh, Miller. Thank you. That was so beautiful. If I wasn't a recovering alcoholic, I'd tip one back in your name tonight.